Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kristen, and if you're new here, welcome to my little corner of the interwebs where I come at you every week or so and share what I've been making. Uh, I do a lot of knitting, crochet, lately there's been a lot of quilting. <laughs> we do it, we do it all here. So if you're multi-craftual, if you like to dabble in all, all the things and make all the things, you are, you're in a good place. So gather around, grab a cup of something, and let's get into things. And yeah, I feel like it's been a while since I sat down and chatted with you. It always feels like that because yeah, it's it's been summer and I don't know about you guys, but when summer, when it's summer, there's always something happening. Like Dennis and I are always hopping in the car and going somewhere. People want to get together, have barbecues. It's 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 a whole to do. So, I I'm so happy that the weather is getting cooler. I mean, I feel like it was a switch. Like someone flicked a switch and now it's fall. Like the trees are the the leaves outside my windows are turning. I'm wearing plaid, I mean flannel. How, I don't know, I don't know where summer went, but it's, there's a chill on the air and I'm so happy about it because I get to wear, I get to wear my kismet sweater pretty soon. Margaret the Mannequin is currently wearing my kismet sweater, a wonderful pattern by Rachel Ilsley. Finished it, I, I want to say like beginning of summer, midsummer. I don't know, but it was by the time I finished it, it was just way too warm to even wear it. So Margot has just been rocking it ever since. Uh, but yeah, pretty soon my time will come. So yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, anyway, I, I hope you guys are ready for cooler weather. Uh, I know kids are back in school, which hopefully all the moms and parents out there, that means more crafting time for you. Yay, I'm so excited for you. Um, Anyway, where am I going with this? Uh, we, we've got a lot to talk about uh, because I have been doing a lot of knitting. I know knitting has kind of taken a back seat since I kind of dove hard down the quilting rabbit hole. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but yeah, there, there's there been quite a lot of quilting. We will talk about quilting today as well, but I feel like we should give knitting a little FaceTime this week. What do you think? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, let's, I'll save this one for next because that's a new cast on, but I have been working on this hot mess right here. <laughs> it's not a hot mess, but it, it, it's, it's a blob at this point. Um, this is the Marled Magic shawl or schlanket at this point, I should say, uh, by Stephen West. And yeah, this is a pattern that I have been wanting to knit since... I can't remember. Um, I even, as I mentioned in the last episode, I took a class with Stephen West. It was a treat for my birthday. Um, it was an amazing class. It was really fun, and we cast on for this project. But for some reason, I cast on twice, and it twice both times it fell to the wayside. Um, but this was this was the year. This was the year that I finally cast it on, and I'm making a lot of progress on it. Um, and this is all knit out of my own hand dyed yarns, wool and vine yarns mostly, no, all, all out of my Nouveau base, which is a 100% superwash merino, single ply merino fingering weight. Um, it's, the whole thing is just two strands held double. And, and these are just cakes that were like sitting in my stash from projects that I had cast on and never finished, projects that I had planned. And anyway, they were just, sta they were piling up and I'm like, I, I really need to do something with, with this situation here. So into the shawl they went and oh my gosh guys, I am loving the way this is turning out. This is so much fun. Like I seriously could not put this down. Um, and yeah, all like seriously, all of Stephen West's patterns are a lot of fun. Even though I may not end up wearing the finished objects, it's just again, like a, just a really great excuse for me to play with different colors, have fun with different stitch textures. And yeah, and they're all, they're all relatively fairly simple. I mean, this whole, you know, shawl in general is all just, um, garter stitch and seed stitch. And yeah, this section right here, I mean, totally movilicious, love it so much, but I feel like if, any, if there's anything that I don't like about the shawl, it might be this section because I feel like it doesn't, it just kind of fades into the other colors that are happening here. Like this section right here, I really, really love. And this is knit, um, holding together a strand of my laudanum colorway and uh, Volan Vine number nine. And I just really, like lately, lately I've really been enjoying like the, a combination of like rust and pinks together. Not so much like, I don't know, I can't describe it, but yeah, like a rust orange, like an auburn, brown, orange, and a pink, just like a really saturated, bright magenta. Not hot pink, but just like a really saturated 
magenta, if, if that makes any sense. So yeah, this section right here just makes me so happy. Um, and here we have my opal colorway held together with, what am I holding it together with? Uh, I think rose water or Poe. Anyway, it, it just creates this really nice effect. You, it, like, uh, the video is probably not even doing it justice, but um, yeah, and here I'm holding together Grimm and Lore, and then over here, um, basically I'm supposed to be repeating or echoing this section right here, but since I really wasn't, you know, since this part is kind of just wah wah, you know, with all these other colors happening, I'm taking it in a slightly different direction over here. So we're getting more laudanum, we're getting more um, like rose water in here, and then some Poe. Anyway, yeah, it's it's a different, different play on colors on this section. Um, so let me see if I can stand up so you can see. Uh, this thing is just so massive, guys. It's it's a wingspan, if you will. Uh, but yeah, just so much fun. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. And yeah, um, highly recommend it. If you have been thinking about casting on or you have, you know, just, just do it. Just cast it on. Have fun. Um, grab some colors that you are in love with and have at it. So that is where I am with my Marled Magic. Nearly done. I think I have about maybe two more sections left and we will have a finished shawl. Um, but yeah, this one, you know, if I didn't have any anything else going on in my life or any other projects that I was working on, this would probably all be, all be done right now. But yeah, so there's that. And if you subscribe to my newsletter or follow me on Instagram or are a member of this channel, uh, you know that I just, why this is yarn ball, oh my God doesn't want to stay on my lap. As I was saying, I introduced a new yarn base into my yarn shop, Volenvine Yarns. Uh, it's a very, very lovely base. <laughs> it's called, I call it Gosling because, I mean, it was the first, first name to come to mind because it is a luxurious blend of, uh, what is it, 70% Superwash Merino, 20% Baby Alpaca, and 10% Silk. Yes, it is as lovely as it sounds. And I had to cast something on with it. I could not wait. And yeah, um, this is the Tiniola, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Tiniola shawl by Amber O'Brien. And Tiniola is actually a type of moth. And I think the name is so clever because the construction, it it basically mimics a moth. <laughs> so um, I cast on this shawl pattern using my new yarn base, Gosling. And yeah, I don't know if you, how well you can see this, but we're gonna try. There's like a little moth motif happening in here. And these little yarn overs, lacy yarn overs, they kind of mimic moth holes, but in a nice pattern. So it's, it makes me chuckle and it's also super pretty at the same time. I mean, just a very chill knit. I am here for the chill knits, guys. In, in this season of my life, I am all about chill knits. When I first got into knitting and I was learning all the techniques, I was I was going for the complicated projects, but when I come to knitting, when I sit down and wanna knit on something, I don't wanna do anything too complicated these days. I just, I'm good, I don't need to do the crazy stuff. So anyway, personal brand of crazy, that's where I'm at now. Um, and this pattern, it looks a little complicated, but I mean, it's, it's brilliant, it's really brilliant. Um, so I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So this colorway that I'm knitting on is called Bewitched. And yeah, just a very, very um, like almost emerald green muted shaded solid. And I think this is gonna go like perfect autumn color, at least for me. I, I like greens are, you know, aside from mauve, Green is my favorite color. So yes, that is the Tiniola Shawl by Amba O'Brien. Uh, yeah, again, just a really fun, easy, chill knit that I couldn't recommend more. So yeah, go check it out. And yeah, I am gonna be having some more gosling in my yarn shop uh, in the coming weeks. So if you haven't already, be sure to sign up to my newsletter. I'll leave a link in the description box below um, where you can sign up. And every week I send out a newsletter letting you know what to expect in each update, what colorways, what bases, any news surrounding Villain Vine yarns uh, and all that, all that good stuff. So be sure to sign up down below. Uh, and I'm trying to think, yeah, so that's all the knitting that I've been up to, which I feel like that it's been a lot because yeah, quilting has been getting a lot of love for me, but yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Knitting isn't going anywhere. Knitting is here to stay. It is my first love. Knitting is staying. If you're a member of this channel, 
Um, every week I publish these things that I like to call mini waffles. They're basically very casual vlogs. Like they're, so, they're supposed to be quick, but sometimes they end up being 20 minutes long because yeah, I, apparently I have a lot, a lot to say. Who knows? But um, yeah, if you are a member of this channel and you've been tuning into the mini waffles, you know very well what I've been getting up to. So yeah, when I got back from Cape Cod, uh, a couple weeks ago, Dennis and I went to Cape Cod for Labor Day weekend. And when I got back, you know, after all the hiking, after all the beaching, I came home and I was, I was just so ready to reclaim my indoorsiness. I just locked myself away in my craft room and I I quilted. That's all I did. That's all I did with my the rest of my time off. It was just, it was, it was bliss. So good. So good that I finished another quilt top. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. So <laughs> here we go. I posted about this on Instagram and I have to be honest, it's not my favorite quilt top. Uh, I, this was just something that I had to get out of my system. Again, when I got home, just, just wanted to sew, just wanted to sew, just wanted a quilt. Um, and I found a pattern. I went on to Missouri, St I, I basically browsed everywhere. I went on Pinterest, the internet, whatever. Ended up on Missouri Star and found their, um, cozy cabin. Is it? Yeah, it's just a cozy cabin quilt. And basically, I'll pop a photo of it here. It's a log cabin quilt but with like these little houses dispersed all throughout. And my gosh, guys, my heart. <laughs> I, I saw the little houses and I squeed. I squeed so loud. I was like, they're so stinking cute. I have to make this quilt. And I love me, I love me a log cabin. So this is, this is it. And it is, I, it turned out a lot bigger than I expected. I mean, you know, you see the measurements and you're like, yeah, whatever. You have the, the fabric quantities and everything, but once it's all said and done, it's just sometimes it's, it's big, it's, yeah, it's really big. I think this is about 70 inches by 60 inches. So yeah, we've got a nice, I would say, it, this could be a, a twin size quilt. So um, I'm not, I can't fit this whole thing on the screen. So I will uh, obviously pop a photo of the full thing here so you can see what it looks like as a whole um, and some other photos as well, some close-ups, but you know, for now, can we talk about it? I mean, guys, the, the fabric that I chose uh, was a layer cake. So the layer cake was Practical Magic by Adita Sitar, who is the you know fabric designer and pattern designer behind Laundry Basket Quilts. Uh, she designed the Montana Primrose quilt that I made. That quilt is finished. I finished it up in Cape Cod and gifted it to my mother-in-law and father-in-law. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hi, Ron. Anyway, talked all about that in my mini waffles. Um, so that is finished. But yeah, she also, I also had a, another layer cake by Adita Sitar. Um, and yeah, it just, it was kind of burning a hole in my stash and it, the colors like flipping through it, it, it was, it was giving very autumn vibes. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, with autumn right around the corner, let's do it. You know, again, as I mentioned, it's not my favorite quilt top. And that is because um, I wasn't expecting there to be so much orange and red and yellow in this layer cake. I mean, flipping through it, I really was just falling in love with the purples, the greens, and you know, I was like, okay, you know, there's a little bit of orange, yellow, and red in there, whatever, but then in practice, seeing it all together, I didn't realize that, yeah, there was more of that color combination than the other. So, you know, yeah, I, again, it's like red, yellow, and orange. It's not my favorite color combination. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know why, but it reminds me of a McDonald's logo, French fries and ketchup. It just has like that very fast food <laughs> vibe to it that I'm just like, eh, I don't know. I'm not here for it. I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about this quilt because while I don't love it, I also don't hate it. It's um, like here, like this section right here. I, lo I love this section. It's got a nice mix of like greens, blues, uh, you know, a little bit of red and orange, but then on this side, yeah, we're, we're in Happy Meal Town. I don't know, but uh, you know, again, I I've been hanging out with it. It's been growing on me and you know, I thought, I thought maybe, you know, maybe I'll sell it. Maybe, you know, whatever I can find another home for it. But the more time I spend with it, the more endearing I find it. Just the houses, it, it has like this antique, cozy, scrappy vibe to it that I'm just, you know, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm growing to love it, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. And you know, it's the more I quilt, the more I look at quilts, the more of them I make, the more I realize like how each one has like their own personality. Um, 
and they're like they're like people you, they, you know yeah they all have their own personality you get to know them and like them and yeah I don't know it's I can't describe it but it's I love cool things so much guys I love it so much um so much so that once I finished this one, I immediately started another quilt, which is over there. I'll pop some B-roll here so you can see what I'm dealing with, but yesterday I had some time. I had some time, my friends, I made some time. And I sat down, put on a good audiobook, and for I don't know how many hours, but I made 400 plus half square triangles, small half, tri half square triangles, mind you. Um, it was a little, I was sitting there doing it and I'm just like, is this madness? Am I insane? Like what, why can't I get enough of this? Like what, what, should I take a break? And I was just so happy. I was just so happy to be sitting there, ironing, cutting, pressing, um, sewing. It just like, it was a whole process. It was like a, an assembly line process that I, I just found so incredibly soothing and yeah, it's, it's so magical, guys, so magical. But anyway, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I wanna say about my cozy cabin quilt other than, yeah, um, didn't turn out, uh, you know, started out not loving it, it's growing on me, you know? Well, I, again, I'm not, I'm not in a rush to quilt it, you know? I'm not gonna send this out to Missouri Star to be quilted, maybe I will, maybe down the line, but you know, I'm gonna let this marinate a little bit, get to know her a little bit more, and um, you know, Eventually, eventually she'll tell me what she wants me to do with her. Again, all these quilts have their own personality. Um, so anyway, I've lost my mind, guys, clearly. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's, that's what's on the quilting front. Uh, coming back to me, though, I, um, as I mentioned, I did send out my night vision quilt. Remember my night vision quilt uh, by Modernly Morgan? Um, I made that entirely out of Liberty Fabric Scraps sent it out to Missouri Star to be long-armed. It is currently winging its way back to me. It should be here on Saturday. I'm so excited. And when it does get here, I'm gonna do an unboxing for channel members. So, you know, again, if you would like to support this channel and, you know, see what I get up to when I'm not recording these main episodes every week and just, you know, yeah, see what I get up to life-wise, craft-wise, um, become a member because yeah, I, I do publish about, you know, two to three uh, bonus vlogs per week. And mind you, they are, they are very casual, very, you know, I just use my iPhone, prop it up on my desk and show you and talk about what's, what's happening. So yes. Okay. So I think, I think that is all she wrote for this week. Is it? Is it? Yeah. That is all. Oh yeah, okay, one more thing, one more little update. Um, right behind my camera where I'm filming right now, I have a new setup. And again, I did post about this on my Instagram feed, but um, as you know, I have been using my desk over here. So like I have my computer situation set up here and then I have like a an L-shaped desk where I have, I used to have my cutting mat and everything and it would just destroy my back. Anytime I would need to cut fabric for, you know, a quilt or whatever, I'd just be like hunched over and I was so desperate for a, a cutting table, like a proper tall cutting table where I could just spread out. And I finally made that happen. Uh, when I got back from Cape Cod, I went on Ikea, I picked up two um, Kallax units. So just the smallest one, like the two by two. So it's like four cubby holes in each, so those are acting as the legs. And then on top of that, I have the Lag Captain desktop. So that is, it's, I think it's one of their newer desktops, but it's it's big and it fits perfectly. Like it's as wide as the collapses are. So it just creates this really nice cutting surface, sewing surface, and has like a, all this extra storage in it. And I, I love it so much, guys. Um, yeah, so it's perfect for cutting. I've been doing all my cutting on it. It's great. Um, and I've even moved my sewing machine on top of it too, my new Juki, which, oh God, guys, my Juki. I love my Juki so much. Um, do not regret that purchase at all. Uh, I've just been sewing like a machine. I've been sewing like a machine. <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah. I mean, a machine sewing on a machine. What? Kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, but I've just been sewing nonstop on my Juki on Brunhilde. She is, she's amazing. She's my new best friend and I love her so much. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's what's been happening guys. So anyway, if you've made it this far, thank you so much as always for hanging out with me. And again, if you're new here and you haven't already, 
feel free to like and subscribe down below. I'm putting out videos for your viewing pleasure on a regular basis. Lately, it's been on a bi-weekly basis, but I am consistent, so there is that. But uh, anyway, all right guys, have an amazing weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.